So how the heck are you? I haven't seen you guys in quite a while. Let's talk about it. RJ. We stay ripping always. We stay ripping always. We so I haven't done a walking, talking, vlogging like ever. I ended up having surgery on November 1st. And I had every intention of recording way more than I did. So I have had major health issues with my colon and lack thereof, and I have all sort of colitis, Crohn's, and colitis as a whole. And the part that was inside my belly was uh, called a J tube or J pouch. And they took that out because it was super infected and it was not healthy for me to have in me. So uh, on November 1st, they went in, did some exploratory things, took that out, took out a uh, part of your bone called the rectum uh, and all the muscles pertaining to that uh, and put two metal stents in. Then came the recovery time. Now, recovery time could be anywhere between like four days and a couple weeks. And everything was going really well actually. The first 24 hours I was eating, I was passing things. And then all of a sudden it stopped passing. It being the stoma that's sticking on the outside of my belly. So the doctors decided after a while that it wasn't passing. So they stuck a tube down my nose and it went to my belly. The problem was is the tube didn't feel right and I kept throwing up with it in. So I pulled it out. Don't do that by the way. You should never have yourself pull out your own NG tube. It's really dangerous and it makes the nurses really angry at you. So you shouldn't do that. But I'm not gonna lie and tell you that I was happy that I was going to have an NG tube. In fact, I don't like those. I have a scar on my nose from one. I have lots of really, really bad memories. Uh, and so instead of doing NG tube, they started doing some weird medication things. And I just asked a bunch of people to pray. So I asked the church body, I asked uh, family, I asked friends to pray, um, specifically that the colon would wake up. And within a couple, couple few hours actually about a day it did wake up and i instantly thought man god's a great god and here's why up to the point where my ng tube needed to come in at any point i could i could claim that i was healing like i was doing the healing but at that point when the ng tube had to go in and things weren't working i could no longer claim that and and what i'm saying is basically to the point where i needed the NG tube, I also needed to have God show up. And honestly, the only thing that I can really say about that is, is God showed up because we asked him to, but God also showed up because I needed him to. So what I'm really trying to say is this, at any point in time, I could claim I was healing and I was doing all the work and I was not really needing God. But as soon as I needed the NG tube and things weren't working, that's when God showed up and showed that I needed him. But also, only way I got out of the hospital in eight days is because of God and his healing power. I went from doing really, really good to doing really, really bad. And as amazing as it could be like, oh, I did this. No, no, it was God showing up and, and God actually just providing a God story for me. There's no other way to explain how quickly and how fast my body turned around than God coming in and healing and saying, okay, it's time for me to do my work. And I bless him and I praise him for that because I could still be in the hospital with a tube up my nose. Because in the past, when I've had similar surgeries on my belly, I was in the hospital for two, three weeks with a tube in my nose. And I know the only way that God really could show up is absolutely being an amazing and wonderful, loving God and answering the prayers of his people. So what I'm really saying is I'm thankful for God I'm thankful for his ability to love on me, to heal on me. I'm really thankful for family and friends who love on me and care for me. I'm thankful for a church body who prayed for me, cares for me, loves on me. And I'm very, very grateful for the love that God gives each one of us. He answers our prayers when we ask. It's just we need to call upon him and then rely on him. I had to do that in the hospital again this time. I'm so grateful that he loved on me enough to answer those prayers and show up in a big way that only God could be glorified. Uh, and I hope this Thanksgiving you guys take time to glorify God and everything he's done in your life. Jesus.